So could you be onto something in the new age of so-called iParenting? ABC's Akiko Fujita is here with this story. I like what she's doing, this mom. Yeah, well, this is a story that a lot of teens can relate to. Parents with a very long list of rules. A teenager had been begging his mom for an iPhone all year without much success, so he was pleasantly surprised to find one all wrapped up on Christmas Day. That is until he found the very personal, very detailed contract that came with it, not from the phone company. No, this one was written by his mom. Number one, it is my phone, I bought it, I pay for it. No porn. I will always know the password. It's not exactly the Christmas list you'd expect as a 13-year-old. Hand the phone in to one of your parents promptly at 7.30 p.m. An 18-point contract littered with do's and don'ts. Don't take a zillion pictures and videos. Greg Hoffman's ticket to a brand new iPhone. Oh my God, my first reaction was... Why? Why did she really have to do this? What I wanted to do and show him um, how you could be a, a responsible user of technology without abusing it, without becoming addicted. Janelle Hoffman's message has struck a chord with parents worried about the increasing use of smartphones. More than 50 million iPhones are projected to sell this holiday season alone, many of them to teens just like Greg. Teen behavior expert Josh Ship says a set of rules is a must for teen iPhone use. You wouldn't, you know, give your kid a car without making sure that they have insurance. And so giving them a cell phone or a computer without teaching them how to use it responsibly is irresponsible on the part of the parent. Among the 18 conditions, number seven. Do not involve yourself in conversations that are hurtful to others. At number 12, a lesson some celebrities could use this year, Take note, Rihanna. Do not send or receive pictures of your private parts or anyone else's private parts. Greg's especially nervous about rule number six, which says he's responsible for replacement costs if the phone falls into the toilet or vanishes into thin air. A legitimate concern, considering there are nearly 16,000 Apple gadgets stolen in New York City alone this year. And if he does lose his phone? Hopefully, I'll just make up a good excuse or <laughs> there are valuable lessons here for adults too. keep your eyes up see the world happening around you stare at a window listen to birds take a walk talk to a stranger wonder without googling now greg's mom says a lot of this was done in jest addressed partly to all the adults who are so consumed with their iphones my personal favorite rule number three do not ever ignore a phone call if the screen reads mom or dad not ever. Yeah, that's a golden rule in that family, right? Exactly. I like his initial response. <laughs> Why? <laughs> he did say that, but you know what? He said that, you know, I would have followed these rules anyway. No, oh, yeah. Well, good answer. All right, Akiko, thank you. It's a great story.